All right, everybody, what is going on? Got an integral problem here for you. We're going to integrate inverse tangent and from 0 to 1. All right, so how do we integrate this thing? Well, you're going to have to use integration by parts. So let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully you, you've been through the integration by parts section in your calculus class. So you know you want to... You want to let u, or main, mainly with parts, you want to let dv equal the most complicated part of the integral that you know how to integrate that's in a basic form. But, you know, the in this one, we don't know how to integrate inverse tangent. I mean, if we did, then, I mean, we would just know the answer here. But So we're going to let u equal inverse tangent. And we're going to let dv equal dx. So we get du is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. The derivative of inverse tangent is 1 over 1 plus x squared. That should be in your table of, your table of integrals, your formulas. Uh, and then we get v equals... Oh, I'm sorry, v equals x. All right, and so integration by parts is going to be u times v, so that's x times inverse tangent x, and we're evaluating that from 0 to 1 minus this times this, du times dv, minus the integral 0 to 1 of x over 1 plus x squared dx. you got to multiply those two. All right, so this one's, all we got to do here is evaluate this one, but this one we've got to integrate. So, so let's do this. Let's come over to the side and do that, all right, and see what we get. So, so let's, let's see, we've got, and, and all I'm going to do, I'm going to integrate it. I'm not going to put the limits on it. We're just going to, we're going to integrate this and then we'll replace it. All right, so you can see for this one, we would let u equal 1 plus x squared, and then du is equal to 2x dx. All right, so, I mean, you probably know this is natural log, or 1 half natural log of 1 plus x squared, okay? But if not, this is what you would have to do to integrate it. You would just go through the u substitution. And you can see here how we have... 2x dx, but over here all we have is x dx, so we're missing this 2 here. So we need to multiply by 2, then come out here and multiply by a half. And so this is going to be 1 half, and then the 2x dx, we're going to replace that with du, and then the 1 plus x squared, we're going to replace that with u, and so this is 1 half natural log absolute value of u, which is equal to 1 half natural log 1 plus x squared. We're going to replace the u with 1 plus x squared. And notice I did change from absolute value to parentheses. I mean, it really doesn't matter but in, in this problem because and why, why could I change it to parentheses? Because 1 plus x squared we know is always going to be positive. All right, so the the antiderivative of this, of x over 1 plus x squared, is that. All right, so now that's going to give me x times inverse tangent x from 0 to 1 minus, okay, so minus this. So it's going to be 1 half natural log 1 plus x squared, and that's from 0 to 1. And now I need to just evaluate it. So plug the 1 in. That's 1 times inverse tangent of 1 minus. And I don't really need to plug the 0 in because that's 0 times inverse tangent 0. We know that's 0. But I'm going to show it anyway. Okay, So that's 0 times inverse tan 0 minus. All right, so let's put a bracket there so it's minus this whole thing here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull the 1 half out, all right? So that's going to be natural log of 1 plus 1 squared minus the natural log of 1 
plus zero squared. All right. So this right here, that's one. This is pi over four. So one times pi over four is pi over four minus zero minus one half times, and this is gonna be natural log two minus. Now, what is this right here? This is natural log of one, which we know that's zero. And so our answer is pi over four minus one half natural log two. Okay, and that is your answer. And you know, you can punch it in your calculator to get a, uh, to get a uh, decimal answer if you want, but you know, that's good enough, that's your answer. So you can see it's not, that wasn't too difficult of a problem, but I hope it helped. Check out my other videos, give me a like, share, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Later.